Hello everyone! Ever watched a video without subtitles and struggled to understand? Or maybe you wanted to make your content more accessible to a global audience? Well, today I will show you how to automate the process of embedding subtitles into videos using AI. Manually adding subtitles is time-consuming, but with automation, we can transcribe audio, generate subtitles, and embed them into videos, all without lifting a finger. Let's break it down. So, let us test the automation. I will just hit the test workload. Let me show you the video. So, this is the video which I am using. If I had to give any advice to my younger self, it would be to think about these things a lot more. Uh, my bias was not to think about them. My bias was that education was a substitute for thinking about your future. What are you going to do with your future? I don't know, I'll get an undergraduate degree. What are you going to do once you have that? I don't know, I'll get a graduate degree. What are you going to do after that? I don't know, I'll work in a law firm or a consulting firm or um, a banking position because that will generate options down the line. And so when we think of our lives as just adding these line items on a resume, I think that's actually not the best way to go about it. This was our video without subtitles and we are embedding subtitles in this video. As you can see, our workflow is executed successfully. Let us see the result. So, here is the video. If I had to give any advice to my younger self, it would be to think about these things a lot more. Uh, my bias was not to think about them. My bias was that education was a substitute for thinking about your future. What are you gonna do with your future? I don't know, I'll get an undergraduate degree. What are you gonna do once you have that? I don't know, I'll get a graduate degree. What are you gonna do after that? I don't know, I'll work in a law firm or a consulting firm or um, a banking position because that will generate options down the line. And so when we think of our lives as just adding these line items on a resume, I think that's actually not the best way to go about it. This was our video with subtitles. So let us start building this automation from the start. Here, I have taken a new workflow and we will start. The first node we will be taking is our trigger manually. So, here is our first node. The next node we will be taking is a read-write node. Here, we are reading the file from our system, and here we have to give our location. So, our location for the file is, this is my location. Let us test this. As you can see, we are reading that from this folder. This is my testing video folder in my system, and this is the file we are receiving intact. So, this is done. Let us move to the next step. The next node we will be taking is an execute node. This is the execute node, and here we have to write the code for extracting the audio from the video. For this, we have to use this tool. We are using this FFmpeg tool. When we execute this command, it will go in our terminal and it will extract the audio out of the video. Let me write that, then I will continue this video. So, here we have written the command and it will be an expression. This is the command. This is the video I am taking and here I am giving a command for audio extraction. The audio will be saved as audio.mp3 in our same folder. Let us test this. As you can see, it is running. Let us see the audio file. Here is our audio file from this video. If I had to give any advice to my younger self, it would be to think about these things. This was the audio. Let us move to the next node. The next node we will be taking is a read-write node. In this step, we will extract that audio here. I have written the command, so we will fetch the audio file in our N8N with this command. Here is our audio file. If I had to give any advice to my younger self, it would be if I had to give any advice to my younger self, it would be, let us move forward. 
The next node we will be taking is an HTTP request. Here, we will use assemblyai.com for the timestamp extraction. We will be using this website, and here we can get our API keys. So, here is my API key. If you are new, you can create your own API key. We will copy this API, and we will use it in our purpose. The request here will be a POST request, and here we will enter the URL. This is my URL. Here we have to send a header also. I take this, and here we have to enter our API key. The name will be authorization, and here we have to paste our API. I will just copy and paste this. This is my API key. We will add one other field. It will be content type. So this is it. Next, we will be sending our body along with this. Here, we will be sending the N8N file. We will enter the name as data and we will make this request. This request will send our audio file to that website. Let us test this. As you can see, we have uploaded the file and here is our assembly AI link. The next node we will be taking is an HTTP request only. This node will be for the timestamp transcription. It will be a post and here we have to write the URL. Here is our URL. We have to send a header along with this. The header will contain the same thing. Here, we are giving our API and we have to add another parameter, content type. It is application. We will also be sending our body along with this request. Here, we will be sending a JSON. We will write the JSON code. Here, it will be an expression. Let me copy and paste. Here is the JSON we have written. I am just drag dropping this using this URL. Speaker label will be true and the auto highlight will be true. The word will be AI transcript and assembly AI. This is it. We will execute this node. As you can see, the node is executed successfully. The status is viewed so we will wait for this, and then we will see if the status is completed. The next node we will be taking is a wait node. Here, we will be waiting for 30 seconds so that this status can be updated to finished. We are giving it some time. I'll execute this. As you can see, this node is executed. When we make a request here, we will wait for 30 seconds, then we will check the status. Here, we will be taking an HTTP request. Here it is. The method will be get, and here will be our URL. We will be passing the body. This is the ID we are checking. We will be sending the header along with this request. Here, we will write authorization and we will paste our API key. Let us paste this. This is the API. I am getting some error, let me check that.
So, the error is resolved, and we are checking the status. There might be a condition where our transcription is not completed, so we will add an if node. The next node will be an if node. We will only move forward when this is done, the status will be completed. We will just drag drop the status and check if it is equal to completed. Let us test. In the case that it is not completed, we will again wait and check for the status. This will keep on looping until we are done with getting a result. The next node will be a code node. Here, we have to write our code. Let us write that. I have written my code, we are taking this text, and we are splitting it according to the dot in the sentence. We are dividing those with a time limit of 3 seconds. Here is our result. This was the text in the video. Here are the words. It is the word, and here is the starting time the ending time, and the confidence. As you can see, these are words like give. Give is starting from this time and ending at this time. This is our complete transcription. Now, we will merge this according to three seconds only. We will test this. Here, we are getting the merge as SRT. As you can see, from zero seconds to three seconds, this is the line. From 3 seconds to 6 seconds, this is the line we are getting. This is it. Let us move forward. The next node we will be taking is convert to file. I am converting it to our test file. Here is our data, and from this node, we can convert that file. We just have to write this as SRT, and it will convert it. As you can see, we have got file.txt. Let us open this. Here is the data, from 0 to 3 seconds. This is the 3 second data. Every time we will refresh the subtitle. These are our subtitles. We have saved them in file.txt. Let us move forward. The next node we will be taking is a read-write node. We will write the file to this. And here we have to write the path where we want to save this. I am saving the file with this subtitled XRP extension. Let us test this. I am getting some problem, let me check that. As you can see, it is executed fine. This is our location. We are saving this file. This is the file. Let me show you the folder in which it has saved. This is my subtitle file which I have saved in my system. We will move forward. The next node we will be taking is an execute node. Here is the execute command. We have to write the command for merging the video along with the subtitle. For that, I am using the same framework. This is FFmpeg. Let us write the command for this. Here is our command. I am giving it the video address. And here is our subtitle file. We are merging that and giving output an output. MP4 file. So, we will get a file and output mp4 from this. As you can see, this node is executed successfully. Let us see the folder. We are getting the output. mp4 file. This was the video. If I had to give any advice to my younger self, it would be to think about these things a lot more. Uh, my bias was not to think about them. My bias was that education was a substitute for thinking about your future. 
What are you going to do with your future? I don't know, I'll get an undergraduate degree. What are you going to do once you have that? I don't know, I'll get a graduate degree. What are you going to do after that? I don't know, I'll work in a law firm or a consulting firm or um, a banking position because that will generate options down the line. And so when we think of our lives as just adding these line items on a resume, I think that's actually not the best way to go about it. Now, we have to read that video in our N8N. I will take the next node, which is a read-write node. Here is the file we are reading. We have to specify the file address. I will type that. This is our output MP4 file name. Let us test this one. It is not returning. Let me check this. This node is executed, and we have got our file. If I had to give any advice to my younger self, it would be to think about these things a lot more. Uh, my bias was not to think about them. My bias was that education was a substitute for thinking about your future. What are you going to do with your future? I don't know. I'll get an undergraduate degree. What are you going to do once you have that? I don't know. I'll get a graduate degree. What are you going to do after that? I don't know. I'll work in a law firm or a consulting firm or um, a banking position because that will generate options down the line. And so when we think of our lives as just adding these line items on a resume, I think that's actually not the best way to go about it. This was our video file. Our workflow is completed. So this was our video. We take a raw video, then we extract its audio. Then we transcribe the audio with timestamps and then we embed them into the video. That's how we can automate the process of embedding subtitles into videos effortlessly. With this automation, you can save time, ensure accuracy, and make your content accessible to a global audience. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our automation tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments what automation I should cover next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy automation!